what is up everybody all right here and we are checking out a new game at least to 1.0 release x invader this game has been in early access for a while however this was one of those games that i just kind of missed or passed up on uh there's just so many games to play that it's hard to play them all but i did get this game for 1.0 release and i've been playing it a little bit and i think this game is really really fun um the only issue that I do have with it is every once in a while, my auto aim kind of messes up and I'm not sure how to correct it. Uh, it'll mess up my entire aim. I do play with a controller and this game does have controller support. So I'm going to pray that that doesn't happen. But let's talk about what this game has to offer. Like most uh, Horde survival. So this is the Horde survival roguelike game. Uh, it's going to have all your meta progression stuff that you normally see in these types of games. So right now I have like movement speed, XP gain, damage, attack speed, extra health, and then I have an extra revive. Uh, if we come over here and talk to this character, these are all our starting weapons we can have. Uh, right now, again, I'm, I'm still early in the game, so I don't have anything. And then there's a bunch of different characters that you can start with too. Um, right now, again, I only have one character. So for this character, each coin we pick up, we're gonna restore three HP. But then other characters are going to get different bonuses like reload speed. Um, this one's going to get fire icicles, uh, lightning attacks, darkness attacks. Uh, anytime we pick up a coin, it explodes, things like that. So they all kind of have a little bit of fun, different stats to them. And then what's going to make this game, I think, cool and unique. Well, not necessarily unique, but what's going to make it i guess more interesting is the level ups for the abilities uh, this game does have gods like hades and death must die but they're called hackers in this game so you get these hackers that help you when you level up and then they have these you can pick these abilities so like if i level up i'll get the options up here like either lightning or chain bolt and so you'll be able to pick these and then as you keep leveling up you'll be able to move down the skill tree and it's really cool. And then some of them are going to have synergy. So you can kind of get like an ultimate if we level up multiple abilities. Uh, it's really cool. And then so like each character does a little different. Some character, this character over here on the right will do a drone. This character is the frost princess. And she'll give us um, obviously like cold abilities like icicles and a cold gun. And then so that's pretty sweet. I, re I really like that kind of stuff in this game. Uh, so let's jump into the game and see how it plays. We're gonna start off with just doing classic mode and we're gonna go back to level one. There's a couple different modes here. Defense mode, you have to defend a bomb. Um, classic, I think it's just kind of like your standard, um, like your standard survival type game, board survival. Uh, then there's arena here, which I haven't gotten to yet. So let's just start off at level one and kind of play through all of this. The defensive mode is hard. I've tried doing that. I can't even clear stage one yet. So get rid of the security code. So I don't know exactly what that means. I think I just have to survive long enough for the um, for the top to connect. OK, let's do Mr. Chu here. So this is like the rock poking the rock Pikachu. Uh, Choo Choo says Mr. Chu. Uh, so let's see. We can get summoned two electric balls when you use a spell. Uh, every three weapon attacks, Chain Bolt is unleashed, dealing instant elemental damage, strengthens electricity add-on, or we can periodically summon two electric balls. Electric balls cause a wave of electricity. Let's do that one. So let's summon two electricity balls. Oh, I keep thinking that's a pickup. <laughs> okay, that's a health. Okay, so let's do... So each character is going to offer di different stuff, and it's really cool because it, it explains what they offer. Like, this character is going to do elemental summon pause, uh, and you're going to get instant elemental damage or summon damage, and then this character does bombs, physical, and elemental, so you can do physical damage or elemental. Let's go with Mr. Chu again. And oh, we didn't get a level up to our current ability, but let's do let's do this one. Whenever we use our spell, we're going to summon two more electric balls. 
So whenever I use my ability now, like my special ability is just this gun blast. Uh, so whenever I use that, we'll summon electric balls also. So I can do a shot, like just a special blast. Okay, let's go with Mr. Chu again. So I want to level up these a little bit. Um, let's see. So increases the number of dashes by one. I don't know if I want to do that. Strengthens electricity by 15%. Um, or we could do sort of like a chain bolt. Oh, let's try the chain bolt. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, he's gonna blow up. This is definitely one of those games though where I wish, again, I just wish I didn't miss this game, but I, you know, I did. There's just, sometimes there's just way too many games, and I, I can't keep up with all of them, you know? That's the hardest part about playing these types of games, because it feels like every week a new one's coming out. Uh, let's go with Dodo. So, Dodo's going to give me more magazine size and cooldown reduction, reload and attack speed, max HP, magazine size and attack speed, but less reload. Um, let's just go with reload attack speed. Because I have that other one, too. I have that other ability that pairs for every... Th I think it's every three shots I fire, right? I do the chain lightning. So the faster attack speed I have, the better. Okay, I need to remember there's a health down there in case I need that. Let's see, this is bomb. Let's go back to Mr. Chu. So this is gonna give me more range, I believe, on my Pokemon balls. It's gonna give me more XP gain. Let's let's go with leveling this one up. Oh, that was a big pickup range. I actually didn't want to get that health yet. Okay, let's go back to Mr. Chu again. Okay, so let's see. That's going to give me more summon damage, but less attack speed. Or this one's going to give me plus five bolt chain damage. Let's do that. See, and you can see there's synergies, too, on the right-hand side. I don't know enough about this game to know where those are. Um, one of those looks like poison darts, and I can't tell what the other one is yet. But there are there are synergies where I guess you can get sort of an ultimate addition. But I'm too green at this game to kind of understand what what I need to do to maximize. I kind of recognize some of those ones, like the darts. I think I know which character does that. Okay, so let's do. I guess we'll go back to Mr. Chu again. And then let's do... I don't really want to take the less attack speed because of my chain lightning. So I guess let's just go with this so we can keep leveling up that ability. Warning, what's happening? A boss? Oh, San Sandring Sandring Pow Pow. Hmm. How do you keep coming back? Don't you have anything else to do? Apparently not. Yeah, 
Okay, so you fire some carrots at me? That's kind of funny. Oh, this becomes a little bit of a mini bullet hell game here, huh? Okay, she's about 50% done, so she's not too tough here, huh? dashed right into me, but we got her. Okay, mission complete. Hacking success. Let's go. Cheers to us. Ooh, a lot of... Wow, we get a lot of coins. Almost 5,000 coins, huh? Okay, so now do we just go... Okay, so we don't go straight into stage two, huh? Okay. So let's go with... Let's talk to her. We got a lot of coins, so let's level some stuff up. Let's do... XP gain. Um, I'm gonna go more with this for this time, and then I can grind some stuff offline. Um, let's go with... Because they stay a little bit cheaper in the earlier, so let's go with... Tax speed's still pretty cheap, so let's do that. And then let's do... Coin drop champs? That's not like a huge percentage drop, and it costs a thousand coins. <laughs> like, is it worth it? Um, I guess we'll put invest in the coins. Okay, so now what do we do? Uh, do we just go to stage two? So then, yeah, I guess we just do level two now here. So let's jump into level two. So a new boss appeared. Um, yeah, I guess we just do that now. So I don't know, do we not keep our progression each time? So do I not keep my Pokeballs? I guess not, huh? Ooh, that's that's different. I don't know if I like that or not. Uh, okay, well, let's go... Let's go someone different this time. Let's go the drones. Okay, so we can do drone damage, not yet. Escort drones. Uh, missile drone launches one powerful missile drone. The missile drone will fire multiple guided missiles that deal uh, damage when last shot is triggered. Or we can do a turret. Uh, let's do the turret. That's going to replace my current spell, but I, I like the turret. I've used the turret before. See, this is what I'm talking about. So, oh, my auto aim. Oh, never mind. Okay, it didn't turn off there. Oh, yeah, it did. See, look. See, it's not locking on. <laughs> I, I don't know why it's why it does that. Did I like? I'm so confused why that happens. Okay, let's go to Dodo. Let's do. This is interesting. This is 30% and this is 15%, but it's the same thing. Let's go. This is loop and normal. I don't know what that means. I kind of want to see what that last level up is, though. The infinity. Let's just try that. See, so my auto aims like it, it's off. It's it's oh, it's actually aiming where I'm looking. So that's kind of what I'm talking about, how the auto aim just sort of breaks on me. OK, I, it's back to normal now. OK, let's summon my drone. Because I didn't hit anything, you know? I didn't hit anything to do that. Okay, let's try this person. Oh, this is the Link character. Okay, so let's see. Number of bullets, one. But wow, that's way less movement speed. So does that mean I'm going to fire two bullets at once? Yeah, it increases the number of bullets fired. Every eight... I don't know if I... That's such a huge movement speed debuff. That's crazy. Every eight attacks, a Calamity Bomb is thrown in a random area. Throws a Hero's Bomb in a random area that deals physical when last shot triggered. Or we gain attack speed for three seconds after a dash. Let's do the Calamity Bomb. Every eight attacks.
Okay. Um, let's go back to the bomb character here. The bomb tracks enemies. That seems pretty decent. Um, let's see. 50% XP gain radius. Let's just do... I like... Let's keep leveling this up. So the bomb is going to track enemies. So maybe when we get to the arena, that's when you kind of start getting more into the later game builds, because this seems like it's level based. Because we don't get to get too deep into the skill trees for for these uh, shorter runs. So maybe once we unlock the arena, that's sort of like the endless mode, I assume. Let's go with the drone. I like the drone character. Um, enhances turret attack power. Yeah, sure. Let's try. Let's yeah. Let's go with that. the bomb character um 1000 coins just like that oh that's what that means it's infinite oh so it's not a level up <laughs> i kind of thought it meant that it was the level up area oh okay okay so that's what that infinity sign means that should have been obvious but i just kind of assumed it was going to be the next like it was the next tree but now that i see it on another spell I kind of want to just take the thousand coins because <laughs> I mean that's that's really good for my meta progression oh wait I have to pick them all up oh that's not <laughs> that's not what I wanted <laughs> that's they, that character trolled me I thought I was just gonna get a thousand coins honestly that's not like too bad though because for this character, um, every time I pick up a coin, you know, I, I gain three health, or I, well, I heal three health. Okay, let's go with Dodo or God Hunter. Let's try God Hunter. Okay, it's like an old Kratos. Uh, crit chance. Throws a runic axe at a random area that deals damage. Um, equal to crit chance when attacking. So I have 15% crit chance right now. Um, I don't want a new spell. I'm going to keep my turret. Fires a chain blade that deals physical damage in the targeted direction when last shot. That sounds cool. Yeah, this is definitely a... This is Kratos right here. Let's, let's do that one. Oh, that's sweet. But I like that. It. Well, actually, let's just pick up these coins because the coins are going to heal me. Yeah, this is definitely this is a much longer level, it seems like, compared to that first one. OK, let's go. I don't think I want any of these characters. Let's refresh. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to our bomb character. Another thousand coins. Um, let's do some power ups though. So grants attack speed after dashing. We can do a princess bomb whenever our last shot is triggered. Let's do that. Okay, so we got a boss here. I guess this is going to be like, oh, it's the same character, but it's a mini boss. Now she acts as a mini boss instead of a main boss. Oh, 
got hit. Okay, let's come get this coin. Okay, so she's done for. Oh, not yet. Okay, so she drops a treasure chest, huh? Ooh, big power-ups. Um, bullet speed? Or all attacks have 3% chance to steal 1 HP. All damage is increased by 3% every time HP is restored by 50. But then we lose 50 max HP. Wow. How much? I only have 110 HP. That's... That feels risky, because I don't know how hard this is going to get. I think... I like that. That's a lot of damage increase. Well, every time I have to restore 50 HP to get the damage increase. So I don't know. Um, I think we'll just run the bullet speed. That's not like the greatest upgrade, but I don't I don't think I want to risk losing half of my health right now. Not when I don't necessarily, I'm not confident in how hard or easy this game gets, you know? Okay, let's go back to our bomb character. We'll consider the bomb character our main character here. Throws two additional Calamity Bombs. Oh, this is... Oh, we're not gonna, we're not changing our spells. Let's just do the Calamity Bombs. I might do that thousand coins again though when it shows up mainly because it heals me too see so every time i pick a coin up it heals me by three so those are good to just kind of have the coins out there for obviously for the meta progression stuff but then also to keep up with just instant heals all the time okay let's go Let's go God Hunter for this one. Um, chain damage. Yeah, sure. This is definitely a much longer level, though, compared to that first one we did. Okay, so let's do God Hunter again. Um, let's see, what's dash? Um, crit chance for two seconds after dash. 5% just natural crit. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do this one. Um, <laughs> number of chain swords fires three so there is a synergy with this one but again i don't know exactly where the synergies are i don't know which character has that that's probably dodo maybe oh oh it's plus three. Oh wow i thought it was just gonna fire three but yeah i guess plus three makes sense that it's gonna shoot five now huh that's pretty cool I'm digging this game. This game's gonna stay in the main rotation for a little while here. I mean, hopefully people wanna see it. I, I know it's been out for a while, which is, it's always a bummer when I miss out on games because then I'm kinda late to the party. But I definitely wanna keep up with this game because this game's fun. Okay, let's try Dodo. Because Dodo is kind of our gun character, but none of these match the synergies that I need. Um, okay, I don't want to do this because I have a few last shot abilities. Can I see what these are? Yeah. 
So how many last shot abilities do I have? See, I have one last shot, two last shots. So I don't really want to do these ones that increase my magazine size. Because then that means less last shots. So... Like, this one's okay. Like, more attack speed after reload, so that means I'll get through my bullets quicker. Let's do that. The more last shots I trigger, the better. is about to show up here so we get one more let's do the bomb character um increases damage from princess bomb uh princesses bombs will track people now uh pickup radius number of bullets but less movement speed let's do let's do the tracking because we're gonna fight the boss here so that way my bombs will just hit the in the, the boss every time if it's gonna track them So now we got a new boss here. Yes. Ooh, cool. Uh, I wonder why it was so loud. I see a rat crawled in. Okay, so we haven't fought this character yet. Ooh, she's hitting hard. I love these boss fights. She's locked on to me. Okay, this is gonna be a close one. We're about halfway dead, and she's almost dead too, though. Yeah, I gotta get back down here. Oh, shoot! Come on, we can get this. Oh, no, 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 no! We're so close! She's 1%. Oh, did we get her? Oh my gosh, that was so close. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mission complete. Hacking success. All right, stage two done. Man, 13,000 coins. They give you... They're pretty good with the meta progress stuff here. Okay, so... Let's come talk to her and get our level ups. Um, let's do... So what is this? Add-on slot. Um... Does this let me... I don't know exactly what this means. Does it let me get two abilities? I'm going to buy it and just kind of see what it does. Chance of ultimate synergy add-on appearing. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to do that one yet, though. Let's do pickup range. Cooldown acceleration. Yeah, the rerolls is cool. HP recovery at start a boss fight. Sure. Uh, dodge chance. We'll just kind of do a little bit of everything. Those are on the cheaper end for right now. Three damage to bosses. Um, I think I'll hold off on that one for now. And then let's see. It said talk to someone, didn't it? Is that do I have to come talk to her? New data has been added, so check it out. Hiccup. Oh, uh, so I'm not sure what this means. Oh, uh, just. Like, story stuff, I guess. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, so the new character. Man, this is sweet. I like this. And then all the different gods here. This is cool. This is a very cool game. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now. Um, Let's see. We're not going to do stage three, but yeah. See, so now I have stage three. So now another boss will appear. We'll do stage three next time. So the arena mode, clear level six on all maps. So I have to clear up to stage six on here and then stage six on here to unlock arena. And then I don't know what arena is. Maybe arena is sort of the endless mode. I don't know. I'm sure people who have played this game a bunch know, but <laughs> very cool. Very cool game. I really dig this game.
Uh, I'm definitely going to keep playing it, that's for sure. So that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been X Invader uh, out on Steam now, 1.0 release. And I think the game's only like four bucks. I think it's under four dollars, which is it's crazy to me that they can price these games so cheap. I'm going to look for you guys because I think it is like four bucks. Um, yeah, it's well, it's five dollars, but it's on sale for about a week more for three fifty. That's nuts. That's such an insane price. Even $5 for this game is still, that's a good price. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.